you have spoken and I have listened for once. Apparently you like picking videos, so that's what we're gonna do today. So the weekend's been relatively busy. We've got 26 orders going out. It is mid afternoon on a Sunday while I'm filming this. I've just filmed the two car boot videos and now I'm filming this picking video. So if I look a bit disheveled, just cause I am. I could have just point something out quickly, okay? There's a big bright light up here, all right? And when it shines on my head, it makes me look greyer than I am. Yes, I'm grey, but I'm not as grey as this light makes me look. I'm grey, I'm grey, I'm grey. We're going to work from the top of the list, working off the iPad. And we're going to work, probably, let's sort by... Um... In fact, we're going to get the MacBook out, because on the Mac, I can sort orders by custom SKU which means I can just go to one box instead of scrolling through a, instead of scrolling, I really am gonna get a new chair this week. Instead of scrolling through a list of things and then having to go all oh, box B, box C, box B again, I can just sort by custom SKU and uh, go from there, I'll show you, here we go. So waiting dispatch, and then what we're gonna do is here, we're gonna sort by, which is over here, just here, sort by, custom screw label and now I've got anything that's unscrewed will still come to the top here because here's the label and then we have as we start scrolling down into things that do have a screw like God, have we got anything that's screwed up there we go finally box A so I can go to box A grab everything out of there box B grab everything out of box B which is three four four things and then to box C and so on and so forth we're going to go through the boxes first and get all those out so we have box A which is over here. It is a Casio Auto Reverse cassette player sold for £13 free postage. So we've got quite a few from box B to come out. Ooh, so I'm actually going to get box B down. Here we have box B. I've sold the second Bose remote control for £7.49, I think, something like that. The bunch of Swedish toys that people wasn't even going to pay 50p for the bag for at the car boot sale. I brought it back home, listed them on eBay for 29 99 and they sold within a couple of days. So, listen, you dirty resellers. If you see me selling at a car boot sale, it doesn't mean there's no value in what I'm selling. It means my mind shift has changed for that stock period. So it's got to go. Nothing more to it. Nothing more to it. So I'm going to do some more car boot sales soon. So if you see me, come and have a look. Come and have a look. One pound fish. Bop it. Sold for £15.65p or something. There'll be screenshots everywhere. There'll be screenshots everywhere. And what was the last thing? An Apple charger. Charge your apples up. So yeah, Bop it Extreme, £14.24. Bose Remote Control, £7.50. Tom Tay Lateral. Oh, sorry. £19.99, not £29.99. My apologies. I listed for £29.99 and accepted an offer. And the iPod Firewire charger, £11.19. Paid 50p from that from the car boot sale. Bop it paid £2. These I bought a big bundle of, they owe me nothing now. Casio paid a pound. Bose were part of some systems that I bought which didn't work, so I've split them all out. I've sold the chargers, now I've sold the remotes, and now I've just got to sell the main units for spares repairs. They currently have bids. I've sent 101 items to auction this week. They end on Thursday. I've had 26 bids, I think, so far. Yeah, brilliant. Box C is an Osprey London leather coin tray. Oh, honestly, this light makes me look 50 years older than I am. I don't really care. What did I say this was? Osprey London, the leather coin tray. So, you know when you've got so much money in your life, you can afford to go and buy like leather trays to throw your change into, because why not? I've got that from my house clearance contact, so it's me pennies. That sold for, really cheap actually, 11 99 I've seen solds of those pre-owned over 50, but I reduced everything down the other day. Box D, one thing from box D is a Apple Watch strap from when I had an Apple Watch. I think I got this from Jess, I think. Jess gave me these. I bought some off my phone. Jess, every time I bought something from Jess, she normally throws in something free, like a free band or something. So I don't know if this was a free one or not. But when I sold my watch to my stepson, I made him pay for it. He needs to learn. And I asked her if she wanted them back. She said no. So I sold it for £10 all in. Don't at me, Jess. It's too cheap. 
Box E is the, you probably remember this, is the Freeview box that I picked up again last week from my contact. Sold for not 12 quid, I think. 14 pounds. Beautiful. All adds up. So this week, I actually switched up my store. I went in and adjusted loads of prices and ended up taking six and a half thousand pounds worth of store value off of my store just by reducing prices. That's how overpriced I was. So a lot of that stuff has now been selling. And I also sent, I think I told you, 101 items to auction. So a lot of these things here that I've had that I'm picking now are things that I've had for ages, but they just never sold because I was so overpriced. So overpriced. So please go and check your stores and see if you're just way overpriced at the minute. At the time when you put the listing up, then may well you may well have been the cheapest, but then 10 people might have put the same thing up since then and keep dropping and dropping and dropping and you become overpriced. That's what happened to me. Six and a half grand worth of listings taken from my store. The stock is still there, but the value isn't. It's always worth a look. Always have a look at your store and switch it up. All right, clothing now. Clothing A is the Bentley jacket. When I first picked this up, I had it listed for 120, reduced to 100, to 80, to 70, to... I don't know, whatever it was, reduced it the other day to 39.99 and I took an offer of £30 for it. That owes me like four quid or something like that. It's got to go, it's got to go. B box is the England long sleeve jersey, but a bit pound, I think I've already sold it before. Is that it? That's it. Whew. This is the reversible England top that I paid £5 for when I took the kids out with me. It sold for £18.99. Again, cheap. I made sure that when I switched up my stock that I was either the lowest or very competitive when it comes to pricing. So if somebody had the same thing listed as me for £19.99 but their photos were terrible, I would list mine for £19.99 because their photos are terrible. So my photos would be the value there. Next up is clothing C, which is the Nike ACG Timorous Beasties shorts. I'll show you them, they're really cool. These are really, really, really smart. I picked these up when I first started thrifting. The Nike ACG size 30 waist and i was convinced i was going to get back to a 30. bearing in mind i picked these up probably three years ago look at that hair picked these up probably three years ago and at the time i started putting on a bit of timber i was like no i can get back to a size 30 waist no problem had kids not a chance i'm a size 36 now 30 waist is an absolute myth for me now but i'll put some screenshots up so you can really see them they've got like little beastie bugs and birds and stuff on really really smart so I held on to them for two and a half years maybe a bit longer than that listed them a couple of months ago and they sold so Never mind, it is what it is. £28.49. And clothing D is a men's thick Timberland jacket. When I sold this, I actually had a message from the buyer asking me to pack it loosely. Please pack it loosely to avoid the inevitable creases. But um, it's already creased, sorry mate. What is this, an ironing service? What, 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 what? Right, so that's all the stuff with a skew label. Now we've got a bunch of stuff that hasn't got a skew. So we'll start from the top. Statler Mars College drafting board, £25 with pens. In fact, it's under there at the back. So I'm going to leave that exactly where it is. I'll put you a nice screenshot up here so you can see what it is. That sold for 25 nicker. Teeny Tiny Tears Baby had this listed for 89, 79, 69, 59, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. I just, I just told you the drill. Reduced it the other day, listed it, sold it within 10 minutes for 18 99 because it's cheap. Paid £8.50 for that, but it wasn't shifting, so I had to make it move, didn't I? Phoenix Knights DVD, down there, in there. I'll dig that out for you, but it's up here. A starting bid of one ninety nine. Someone sent me an offer of £10, so I took it. High-tech walking boots. They could be anywhere, but I know they're just here because I put them in this box, which means they're at the top, just the other day. High tech does sell. These are nice little walking boots. Not too sure what they sold for, to be honest with you. Oh, I need two, don't I? Hello. It's handy when you sell shoes to sell them in pairs. They sold for £14.24. Clothing unscooed will be in this unscooed box just here. We have a Magnus London Wasps jersey sold for £12.99. I must have had postage stuff on that one still. Oops. We will take that. Humax Freeview box. Unit only, no charger, no leads, no remotes, no nothing. As is, but tested and working. Because I do have a remote for this. I do have the leads, but I keep them for as I want to get these, just as is. This sold for, let's have a look, £25 free postage. Uh, a trolley stacking system, which I invented before, okay. 
it's a long story it's in one of my other videos paid a pound sold for 10 pound again another one of those things that just had listed for ages and ages and ages just wasn't selling so i reduced it ev builder bear plush it's looking very very stacked in there i'll put a screenshot up here for you picked it up the other day for one pounds 50 sold it for 14 pounds 24 which is well, that's beautiful isn't it? oops this garage is so full because like i say it's sunday today and i've just finished the car boots and the car boot video so everything's everywhere this noble glassware dog sold for two pound paid two pounds fifty from a charity shop i think the emma bridge war has actually finally sold i have been babysitting this cup and saucer set for how long now six months or so it's very nice very lovely looking thing very delicate uh sold for 18.99 again just wasn't selling so i made it sell by stopping myself from being way 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 overpriced wwe bedding set i'll put a picture up just here paid two pounds fifty for that one it has sold for eleven pounds ninety nine some premiere 2000 set of lawn bowls again they are stacked away too hard for me to dig out for you but they almost sat on the humax box then you max that ass they sold for 63 pounds free postage they cost about six pounds to post i should imagine the red octane guitar hero that has sold for 25 pounds and a pair of orvis moss corduroy trousers has sold for 10 pounds so so far all of those orders are totaling a modest 483 pounds and it is only three minutes past 3 p.m so we do have the rest of the day to make some money over the weekend i get paid weekly so my money runs tuesday to tuesday so in my head i've got until tuesday to make as much money as i can before my next payday so i've got the rest of today and tomorrow to make as much money as i can it's doable isn't it it's a bit of a different one for you there's some of my sales for the weekend hope you enjoyed that if you did let me know in the comments down below and i'll do some more for you thank you so much for your time i hope you've all had some smashing weekends i hope whatever figure i end up with on tuesday i hope you beat it by tenfold take care and i'll see you on the next one bye